For me, every time I uh, do a case, I get to do my art. Um, just last week, I had a young lady who had a seizure, fell, broke her front teeth in the shower, and um, her parents, of course, were distraught came in, evaluated her, not to worry, you're going to leave looking like you did before. I said, as a matter of fact, do you have a picture of what you look like before all this happened? So I said, please send it to my front desk uh, girl, Sarah, and she'll print it out. So she printed out a large eight by 10, tacked it on the wall behind me. So as I constructed her teeth, I constructed them to look like what they were before. And then I had my glazes and my stains and it was probably the best case ever. So what's rewarding is that you take somebody like that that's been in a traumatic situation and you can turn it around and, and they feel like themselves again. Uh, people, when, when, we, when I do situations like that, they're hugging me, they're hugging the staff. Oftentimes, you know, we'll, we cry. In some cases, it empowers people where they um, actually go out for that job that they were afraid to get because they were constantly covering their mouth. You know, my staff gets on me all the time because I do donate a lot of my work. If I see somebody really can't afford it, I feel blessed enough that if I can help them, I'm constantly just giving it away. I have an opportunity to change people's lives. I found dentistry when I was in my early 20s, finishing college, trying to decide what career path I wanted to take. And um, my dad had a talk with me about my skills, and he said, you know, you are you have a strong science background, I know you love the art, and I realized that dentistry was an art and a science. Just being in dental school, um, and trying to fit in with there only being 20 women in a class of 120, um, there was things that you had to balance and juggle. I remember trying to make myself small often just to fit in, knowing that I had the skills, but you know, trying to still get ahead. Oftentimes people want to feel like whether you're a woman or a certain race that you know other people feel superior to you and they want to kind of push you down but i continued with just being kind being myself being empowered if you have talents respectfully stand up for yourself and share those talents don't minimize yourself uh, and, and be a woman what does that mean that's the most important thing be a woman Wear your hair down if you want to. Put your mascara on. You want to put glitter on your eyes? Wear your glitter. Be you. I tell women today, be themselves, because you can still be a fantastic, great dentist, regardless of how you wear your hair, how your makeup is, what your jewelry is. Don't let people judge you on that. Allow them to see your talents as a dentist. So just be yourself. I am compassionate. I am empowering. I am Dr. Politimi Mansuranis, and I am Lucy Hobbs.